Welcome to the Southland Senior Resource Series. I'm your host, Helen Morgan, here to provide education, awareness, support, and honest answers to the many issues our aging population face. And here with me today is Jackie, the founder and CEO of Pink Angels yes. Home Caregivers. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Jackie, and thank, thank you. you so much for joining me. Thank you very much, and I'm honored to be here and answer any of your questions, and Great. I'll be very glad to share it to everyone else. Great, because there's so many misconceptions about mm -hmm. uh, home care and yes. home health. Mm -hmm. So I, I really want to clarify that for our audience. Sure. And it's such an important an important topic and we could be here all day discussing it yes. I'm sure yes. but we're just going to to kind of give some tips and highlights of what mm -hmm. home care actually is what do care caregivers do can you explain that to our audience well um, caregivers are basically um, the one that would stay and would really know our patients at home um, they can be in a facility as a sitter, but a lot of um, families now would be um, diverting to caregiving in, in home. In home. So most of us were non-skilled. We're considered non-skilled. Technically, yes. we are more of like the caring part and, um, you know, the need for assistance when, you know, patients are unable to be independent anymore, but that's the only way that they can be, you know, stay in their home you know right and um, not to be transferred to a nursing home and they're more comfortable on their own uh, absolutely they you know we all want to live in our yes, home right definitely. regardless and and even you know a hospital stay and coming back home we're it's much different. much more comfortable yes. in our home recovering mm -hmm. um, and I know that you're not you're you know you do not do the health part of it although mm -hmm. you know with caregivers you, tell us some of the support that you give um, some of our elders at home. Well, initially, you know, we have to continue the care. That's why patients come home, but doctors are not there 24-7. Right. Nurses are not there 24-7. So basically, come to think of it, caregivers are the one who would pour out all the love. Right. Like they would share like half or even full of their heart to to give for the patient mm -hmm. and uh, they are the ones because of them you know nurses and doctors would have an idea of what happened you know and can get an accurate um, right. explanation of whatever is going on with the patient the caregivers are a, a very very important role very in that, important you know and and whether it's health related or not I mean there are there are times that our seniors just need a little extra help yes. to be able to remain in their home uh -huh. and you know maybe they're not able to do a lot of the chores yes and it's preventative too right. you know before things go downhill you know when great point you know, like sometimes some families um, are confused of when is the right time, but nothing compares with any kind of preventative. And um, some seniors would be a little bit stubborn, you know, mm -hmm. they would uh, feel that they still have the independence and they can right. still do everything. But, you know, um, the reality, you know, if they want to stay healthy, a caregiver would be very good for them at home at home mm -hmm. and so that's it I mean caregivers really are able to go in and help our help our seniors yes. age in place mm -hmm. and make sure that they do keep as much of their independence as possible yes, that's so what they want it's making a plan right uh -huh. it's creating that plan and you know you start out maybe I'm sure you see this Couple often of hours, yeah. a few hours here a few hours there yes. and then they really start to appreciate the help and yes. they know that you're not uh, the daughter mm -hmm. uh, that's pushing them to do yes. something they that they don't listen want better. to do they actually Absolutely. listen better <laughs> I agree caregivers uh, yes. because with their daughters they're very like you know they're very like bratty sometimes yes. oh sure you yeah. know but uh, and it also works well for the family because I understand a lot of family members would like to be caregivers too. It doesn't yes. have to be, you know, different person, but a family member's reaction or, 
you know, um, the, the emotional right. part is still there and um, tends to be like they end up being burnt out. Yes. So that would be a really nice relief for them to have someone else. In to the have the extra hands. Yes. And, and I think that's, that's a, a great way to explain it is that mm -hmm. many, many of um, adult children are caregivers, you yes. know, to their aging parents, although they need a break as well. They do. You know, so it, it, helps, it helps the parents along with, you yes. know, giving the caregiver um, a break, you know, and to find someone mm -hmm. that they can trust, you know, to yes. be able to stay in, in the family home. And that's what it's about. You know, we want to make sure that our seniors are safe at all yes. times. And, uh, you know, no one would take advantage of them, too. Right. And I, I think that's, you know, with your company, with, you know, Pink Angels, you chose that name for a reason. Yes, I did. And, and I'm really proud of it. Yes. You know, and um, there's a lot of stories behind it, but a lot of people that I know already know that. But it's very meaningful to me, and yes. I stand by it. Very good, yes. very good. And you're the type of person that we would want in our parents' home taking care of I them. I would because love to. We've had long conversations, and I know that, yes. that you your heart is in mm -hmm. it. And I don't think you can be in a business like this without it being a mm -hmm. heart-driven business. So do you have, do you have live-in caregivers? Yes, I do. OK. And um, with the live-in caregivers, and not only with the, my live-in caregivers, it's also very important to me, as much as it's important that my, my patients that would have the, the appropriate care, right. but I wanted to also make sure that my caregivers would feel confident of what they're doing. Right. Uh, first, I want them to know exactly what they're getting into. Exactly. And, uh, and next is I support all my caregivers and provide them all the assistance that they need because you know, um, without them, I want to make sure that they're safe in any kind of environment that I'm gonna, you know, put them into. Right, that they're as safe, much as and yeah, yeah, and that because they have the same work ethics that you yes, have. Yes, I oh think gosh, is yeah. it's very, very important. So to be a to be an in-home caregiver, is there a license it, that you that is required? Yes. Well, to have my agency, of Your course. Agency. Um, we have to be licensed from the Illinois Department of Public Health, which is like a, you know, difficult. It was like a really process, and I, I really worked hard to go through that process to be part of the legal agencies. Right. So I, that's why I do my very best to keep it that right. way. And I think it's it's very important that um, our audience realize that mm -hmm. having that license is something that um, is very important. If you're going to bring someone into your home mm -hmm. as a caregiver, because I hear some, I've heard some horror stories. Yes, you know where the, where families have hired just someone to come in and yes. stay with mom and dad, and mm -hmm. you know it didn't turn out so well. And uh -huh. there's also, there's legal issues, you know. Um, a lot. Liability. Oh, yes. Um, by doing that. So it's very important to right. make sure that, that you go through an agency when you're yes. looking to place someone in, in mom or dad's home. Um, or not just mom and dad, you know, it can be it's someone with a disability. Yeah. It doesn't just have to be our aging parents, mm -hmm. but that seems to be the topic today, you know. Yes, it's very so, important. So Jackie, how can our audience reach you? Should they have more questions? Because there's a lot I'll of things we glad. didn't cover. I know, I know. And So um, please, I just let our audience know how they can reach sure. you. Sure. First, uh, um, my the name of my agency is in the Google. Definitely, you can just Google that. Everybody's like contact or go to is Mr. Mm -hmm. Google. Everybody knows right. that. And I also have my own website, which is www.pinkangelshomecaregivers.com. And also, um, just give me a call, 312-860-4373. And, you know, I'm just here. And anytime I answer my phone call seven days a week, Perfect. sometimes I get a call at 10. Perfect. You know, so well, thank you so much for thank joining us so today much. and sharing your knowledge and the importance of being a licensed agency oh, for yes. home care. That's very important. And should anyone like to be a guest on our show, 
please feel free to contact me directly, Helen Morgan at 708-712-8493. I'd like to take this time to thank our sponsors, Stirk Family Law Group, The Southland TV, and Resource 55.